Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I just thought I'd uh, run through a new jacket that I've got. Um, first of all, I'll show you my old one. This is an Engine Hawk jacket. Uh, it's the Hawkeye UV. It's my favorite. It feels safe on. It's got armor in the usual spots, in the back and the shoulders. Um, but on a day like today, on a, on a day like today, it's currently 25 degrees Celsius, or I believe that's 77 degrees Fahrenheit and the temperature is going to get up to 38 degrees celsius which i think is 97 degrees fahrenheit on a hot day a black jack black leather jacket while it looks cool makes the riding experience awful even moving it's way too hot so my darling wife let me get a new jacket put that there still my favorite this is the Carmine jk150 adventure jacket it uh, it's uh, main feature that I, that I went for two things one it's light sort of a silver gray uh, with the darker gray mesh panels um, and there's those mesh panels which make up a good percentage of the jacket it's still CE e rated um, the mesh goes through the pockets through there through the back uh, probably can't see it but you can see through the back protector so the airflow on this jacket is going to be amazing. I haven't tried it yet, but from the reviews I've seen, it's really good. Um, the jacket itself C rated. So it comes with armor in the elbows, shoulders, in the back, which is kind of nice and squishy. And with, with they've got a hard sort of a semi hard shell and with chest protectors as well, which have got a hard shell. So um, another few things that it's got is it's got four external pockets, one, two, three, four, there and there. Um, it's got one in the back, which is designed to have the, the rain jacket insert, which um, comes separately. You have to pay for that separate. Um, I got this jacket from Zaki in Melbourne um, so I'll put a link to where I got it from uh, so that's it and apparently these these jackets get counterfeited a lot so so do be careful on eBay um, some I had a quick search before I went down to Zaki and eBay had some that looked like this and there was other models here which just aren't part of the Kamini range um, but that there, hopefully it comes out, that label there, um, is there proof that that's an uh, original product that comes up with a pattern. I'll, I'll take a photo of it and see if I can bring it out, but that's how you test if it's a real deal. So yeah, the build quality seems amazing. Um, it is probably half the weight of this one. Um, and while the, this jacket has airflow through here um, you can open the pockets up but that's about it and um, I'll take you for a ride later when it gets really hot just to see what it's really like but so far I absolutely love the thing so think thanks for watching and um, please like and subscribe and, ch and stay tuned till later for the test ride oh, hey everyone finally got out for a test ride this is actually take number three um, uh, I was going to go out that same day, it was 38 degrees Celsius, but um, my son and I, or well, son and the family went to, went to pay for a new bike that he was getting. I wanted to take it for a test ride, so stay tuned at the end of the video and I'll show you what it is. It's a really cool and it looks fantastic. But anyway, this Kamini uh, JK150 jacket. Um, it's currently, the bike says it's 25 degrees, so I'm um, not sure what that is in freedom units. Yeah, but uh, yeah, anyway, um, on that 38 degree day when I went out for a ride um, with this jacket on, it was surprisingly cool. This jacket, kind, when you're riding, kind of feels like you're riding with just a t-shirt with active cooling. 
but it's got all the armor and stuff in it so should the worst happen and I come off I'll be protected um, to be oh, the jacket itself is C rated not sure about the armor but I'll, I'll put a link in the description below as to where I got it from I got it from Zaki in Melbourne who's the uh, Australian importer but yeah the, the airflow through this thing is incredible on today it's pro probably a little bit cool um, not unpleasantly so but it's kind of it, the, the feeling of that of the cooling is really odd and was unexpected because you can feel there's more cooling going on than just wind because I suspect as, as I'm sort of sweating um, that's evaporating and causing a slight refrigeration effect and on that 38 degree day um, sure I was it was hot right when I stopped and the sweat and the, absorbed by the the back armor you could feel that it was noticeably cooler um, and on a hot day it was really pleasant I, I really liked it um, today with it being 25 degrees uh, I think that's about 70 degrees in freedom units it's not unpleasant just cool so yeah I, I really like it um, I think it's worth getting um, with it being a lighter color on a hot stinking hot day uh, the jacket itself doesn't heat up much um, at night it's got great re little reflective spots on it um, the Kamani branding's all reflective um, it's got some up on the chest up here yeah so do I think it's worth it? Uh, absolutely because with my engine hawk jacket as much as I like that jacket it looks amazing it's really comfortable you feel safe in it if it's over 30 degrees Celsius and it's not cloudy that thing is really hot I mean really hot uh, so yeah especially if you stopped at the lights and one of the things that surprised me with uh, with this jacket here is that when you stopped at the lights just the ambient breeze um, if from, even from the cars going by you can feel that cooling effect um, it was it was quite interesting I would say and quite surprising so I'm going to get to where I'm going being less dehydrated um, not overheated and yeah so I think it's 275 bucks Australian well spent so yeah thanks for watching stay tuned uh, please like and subscribe